You know what I mean? And so, um, so the weekend was beautiful for us, man. We just, it was cool. He was like, you know what? I'm coming down that way. I'm coming down that way. And I'm gonna I'm stay tonight, and we just gonna chill. We're gonna kick it. We're gonna get, get some food. I need you to bring that dragon blood and that motherfucking patchouli. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Look, girls, if you don't start getting in tune with your, with your soul, if you don't start getting in tune with your body and, you know, strengthen your spirituality, it's so much, it's so much in this life to know. There's so much in this world to be aware of. You know what I mean? And when you become in tune with your body and in tune and cognizant about what's going on and you know what I mean? And men really dig that. I'm talking about grown men. I'm not talking about grown boys. I'm talking about grown men. They are not intimidated with a woman with a voice. They are not intimidated with a woman with her own style, her own get down and all that. A full grown ass man, because he going to still do him anyway. You know what I'm saying? And, and what's so cold about it, he is so unimpressed about what the fuck I got. That is so cool with me. He is so unimpressed. Let me tell you something. He ain't been to my house yet. He has not been to my house. He's been to my area. You know what I mean? But he ain't got no problem with, okay, I'm finna go over here to what whoop the whoop uh hotel and go get us a room and goddamn it, we're gonna stay tonight. We're gonna stay a couple days and we just getting ready to chill and we getting ready to kick it. You know what I mean? And he's cool with the fact that with me, cause see, let me tell you about me. This is my home with me and my children. This is our normal habitat. This is where we dwell. This is this is us. You understand? And I have to set up a town hall meeting. You know what I mean? Have a meeting with my children to discuss. Now, my children know there's a change of arms. Mama got a new man in her life and all that. They are fully aware of all that. But, you know, me just full throttle, just throwing a man in my home or throwing my children before a man that I just meet, I don't think that that's always a good idea. And I'm going to tell you why. Because kids have a tendency to get attached to, you know, the men that you date or the men that you bring home or the men that frequent, you know, your spot or whatever, however your get down is. And, you know, it kind of have them scratching their heads a little bit. Even though they're children, they still, they, they, they still feel. You know what I understand? And for me, I have a 17-year-old daughter. Me and my daughter are very close. We are closer than we have ever been. And I don't want my daughter to see me, you know, just, you know, this dude, that dude, this dude, this dude, this dude, that dude, this. Because I don't want her to think that that's the way the shit is supposed to go. No, a man is supposed to come and take you out. A man is supposed to take you abroad. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, you're not supposed to just be constantly just come on to my house and you know come on to the pad and, You know your kids don't know who the hell this is That's so-called trying to regulate on who can watch the TV and I want to watch something else all that kind of stuff that be going on nowadays I don't I'm, I'm not and he's totally okay with it He's never exchanged not now word with it. He ain't got no problem with it this is not something that, because he has his own stuff. See, that is the difference. When you begin to meet men that have their own stuff, you know what I mean? They're not totally all gaga and goo goo over what you got going. They can really care less because he's a self-sufficient and independent, full-grown as alpha male man. I mean, oh my God. And he got all his own shit. So he is so not impressed. Like, oh, well, my baby got her own place. And, man, she got a jag. And, oh, my God, she got this and she got that. And she got Sana in her room. He is so unimpressed. You know what I mean? I'm certain he feels, you know, well, damn. You know, that is hella cool. You know what I mean? But as far as him, like, shit, I got, man, I need to be over there with you. And how come I can't come to your house and kick it? Let's go back in your room and let's sit up and parlay. No. No. He's such a man about it. And he said, baby, look, this is you and your children. Take your time with that. Me and you are a constant. We are a habit. But take your time with that. And when you're ready, I'm ready. But there's no rush. 
I ain't got no problem with, with, with all this right here. I ain't got no problem with it. I ain't got no problem with us going on over here, t taking this helicopter ride over here and doing this. You know what I'm saying? Catalina. I ain't got no problem with us over here, you know, in Vegas and, you know, wherever the fuck we go. I don't have a problem with it. I'm a full-grown-ass man. I don't want nothing from you. I'm paying for this. You know what I mean? I, I got it. You know, and I'm like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to bring my purse. Wait a minute, what's going on? I don't have to bring my purse. Don't have to open up my motherfucking wallet, okay? Bitch, barely answer the phone. I be like, shit, if that ringtone don't say something, that I, you know what I'm saying, to indicate to me that this is one of my goddamn kids, yeah, like that. So, <laughs> what else could I be but happy? Really, when you really look at it, what else could this lady be but happy? Man, she have, because, see, let me tell you something. You meet what you deserve. You're going to get what you deserve. If you are out here putting out bad works and out here, you know, pussyfooting around and hooking and crooking and trying to come up and, you know, trying to twist niggas up in the game and all on some shenanigan, then, therefore, that's what you're going to meet. You're going to meet that same kind because they like, well, shit, she trying to come up, shit, I'm trying to come up too, shit, run me some of that motherfucking pussy while you're bullshitting. You know what I mean? But no, I ain't on that page. I want me a full grown ass man that's self sufficient, independent, got his own shit, doing his own motherfucking thing that ain't even impressed by what the hell I got. You know what I mean? That's what I desire. Okay? And that is what the fuck I done met. And oh my God, he chose me. I didn't choose him, he chose me. There is a difference, ladies. We're not supposed to be out here hunting dudes down. How come you ain't call me? And let me give you my number. Oh, I got to give you my number. Oh, my God. You saw this and that and this and this and this. Man, I got to give you my number. We got to hook up. What? No. He's supposed to be the one that's chasing. Men are hunters. That's what they are. So there's a, they're the ones that's supposed to be hunting us down. They're the ones that's supposed to be trying to figure our shit out. You know what I mean? But you got to give them something to figure out. You know what I mean? How can a person really love you if they can't grow with you? How can a person really love you and you're not starting off on a clean slate? You bullshitting. You ain't telling the truth. Oh, I got two kids when you know you got 11 of them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You coming in lying. You know? And it's just it's just none of that going on, man. It's just it's just it's, it's, it's something that I, I, I prayed for this for a long time. I prayed for this. I prayed for this man. I prayed for this life. I prayed for this body. I prayed for that car. I said a long time ago, I'm going to give me a Jaguar, man. I'm going to give me a Jaguar. That is my shit. I'm going to give me a Jaguar. And when I got that motherfucker, it was like shit just, you know, was manifesting. You know what I mean? It was like I was calling shit into existence and shit was coming back to me. But I also realized to receive blessings, you got to be one. And so a lot of people don't really understand how this life works. They really don't understand. Like when I was talking to, you know, my little friend yesterday, you know, and I had to, you know, tell my baby, look, check this out. You know, this is what this is. I'm just being honest with you. You know what I mean? Um, I gave him my number. I gave him my number because I was flattered. I was like, wow, did you just hit me up right now? I mean, did you did you just hit me up right now? <laughs> like, really? Like, you just hit me up right now? Like, for real? Didn't I just see you on? Okay. You just hit me up right now. I was really just blown away. And the, the vanity, the, I don't want to say narcissist, but it was something in me that just, I was just elated. I was like, wow, you actually asking me for my number and you like actually like, what's up with you? Like, wow. You know? Uh, and so I did that. And after I did that, you know, I felt so bad about it. I felt so bad. And, you know, he had called me because we were IM and back and forth on Facebook because, you know, my Facebook is private. But my pictures were, the, the, the picture of me with the jumpsuit was shared. And so that's how he got up with me. It was shared. And he was like, damn, who the fuck is this? Okay, let me go head on and hit her up and see what's up with that. You know what I mean? And it was like, wow, for real? Seriously? For me? For me. I was like, nah, this got to be some kind of game. This got to be some type of twist, you know? And, um, and after I did that, and he called me up on the phone, because at first we was, we was IMing for a minute. 
And so, and then he was like, you know, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just interested, you know, I, I'm interested to see more, to hear more about you and, you know, what is it that you do and how you get down and all this kind of stuff, you know, it's like, man, you know, you a full grown ass woman, you know, and I was like, um, you know, so, um, I did, I gave him my number, he gave me his number and he sent me, he instantly sent me a text. And, um, I, you know, I had to tell him, let me just fast forward and keep from getting all up and all that. I had to tell him, I told him on Monday that, um, you know, I have a man in my life and this is what this is. And I have to be honest with you. I was very flattered that you reached out. I was flattered that you saw an interest in me. You know, a lot of people don't know that I was you know, 300 and something pounds. A lot of people don't know that about me. So a lot of people don't know. A lot of people see me today and they're like, oh, wow, you know, this and this and this, but don't know my struggle. Don't know the background of everything. And so a lot of times, you know, you guys have, have been watching me for a long time. It's like, why are you always explaining? Why are you explaining your shit? Why are you? Because there's new people coming in all the time. They don't know the background. They don't know who the fuck Kenny is. They don't know who the fuck Mr. Malibu is. Shout out to Mr. Malibu, baby. Yes, I'm going to dinner with you. Absolutely, we're going to dinner this weekend. And, um, you know, and people still, well, what's up with Mr. Malibu? How he feel about it? Well, we're going to have it. We're going we're gonna to dinner. How about that? This coming up weekend. So if he got some issues about it, then therefore he and I are going to talk about that. Because he does watch my channel and all that other kind of stuff. You know, he's also in that genre. So, you know... He hit me up and was like, I need to take you to dinner. We just need to sit up and talk. I was like, okay, let's do this. You know, no problem. No problem. And if it's something that, you know, he needs to say or whatever at that point in time, I'm going to allow him to say that. But, you know, hey, this is my life, man. This is this is my motherfucking life. You understand me? Ain't nobody feel the pain that I done been through. Ain't nobody been through what I've been through or walked a mile in my shoes. You understand? Everybody got their own hill to climb. Everybody got their own transgressions. My transgressions was long and deep. I done had a whole gang of them, okay? But to finally get some breathing room to just rest, to breathe, you know what I mean? To woo-saw for a minute. Allow me to enjoy this. That's all I'm saying. I ain't saying that you got to like it. You know what I'm saying? Because misery love company any motherfucking way. So I wasn't really, you know, thinking that motherfuckers was going, you know, uh, uh, you know, 100% was going to be just all in. I, I knew that from the start because I'm well aware on how this world works. You know what I mean? And it's so many people that are miserable based on their circumstances and their past pain. I, I've been there too. So hell, what the, what, you know... What can I say? Hell, me and one of my nieces fell out the other day. She was, you know, trying to go in on me. You know what I mean? I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm your motherfucking auntie. Hold the fuck up. Who you talking to like this? Yeah, me and my niece had some words. You understand me? And I'm like, damn. You sound like one of these motherfuckers thumbing my shit down on YouTube. Like, for real? Are you serious right now? I'm your motherfucking auntie. You better put a handle on it. Okay, yeah, I, we went there, me and my niece, yeah, we had some words last week. We had some words like a motherfucker, because I was like, wait a minute, hold the fuck up. I'm, 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 baby, I'm two or three times gone. Don't, don't come at me like that. Don't come at me like that. I'm not one of your friends, okay? Your mama is my goddamn sister. Let's not get it twisted, okay? Now, I'm going to allow you to say some of that motherfucking shit, but some of that shit right there, you're going to have to put, in, put, put, you know, calm down on some of that. You know what I mean? And my, my my niece, I guess she got in her feelings, you know. She was looking at some of the posts and shit like that. And, you know, my, my niece was like, well, Auntie, what's up with this? Wait a minute. Ho, 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 ho. Wait, wait. Hold the fuck up. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's, it's coming out in folks that I'm, like, really tripping. So, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm like... You know, but now my niece now sent me a message, Auntie, you know, she ain't came out and say, Auntie, I'm sorry. But, you know, she sent me a little I am on Facebook and shit. And, you know, Auntie, I got my hair done. Auntie, I got my nails done. How you like it? You know what I'm saying? That's her way of coming back saying, Auntie, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Because Auntie had to dig, dig in your ass and let you know, look, hold on, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? I deserve and I deserve and demand some goddamn respect. 
Now, you know, you're not going to come at me like I'm one of your goddamn friends because I ain't none of that. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, we, we had that going on. We had that going on. It's like, wow. So, you know, and I mean, I've had, you know, people that I've really, really, you know, liked and respected. And they just green-eyed, just envy, just came upon them like, this nigga's really, you really, whoa, this, this, is this what? Whoa, treat me real funny style after. I'm like, oh my God, am I not worthy of this? I'm like, damn, baby, what is wrong? Don't nobody, ain't nobody, they like really feeling a particular kind of way. I'm like, okay, well, um, <laughs> You know, I, I, I just pipe down on some of this right here. Let me let me and Bay just enjoy our tilt. You understand what I'm saying? Because he mean me no goddamn horn. Okay? Okay? Now, I've never told God, if it's something that I don't need in my life, please rid it from me. Just make it walk away. Just make it walk away and I have no attachments. And, you know, I don't, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't need it. You know? But I put out good works. I treat people fairly. I stand firm in my truth. I take care of my children. I take care of my temple. You know, I'm responsible. I'm respectable. Why not? I'm deserving. Excuse me. I prayed for it. I was patient with the process. And now it is coming into existence. Damn, ain't that, ain't that how faith's really supposed to work? So I'm getting my just due. A laborer is worthy of his hire. I done been through enough, baby. I deserve this. You don't have to be totally happy for me. But to, but to be malicious and just going in, it ain't even about me. It's about you. It ain't me. It's you. You the one with the problem. Not me. I'm straight. Okay? So let's be, on, let's be clear on that. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about. We're done with that. Um, I am going to have a meet and greet and I want you guys to come out, come check me out. I'm going to, we're going to have a, um, a movie screening within the next couple of weeks. Um, I believe it's October the 9th. No pressure. If you want to come out, come check me out. Come out, take a few pictures, come out, clown, all that old type of shit right there. You know what I'm saying? Come meet the cast and crew and, you know, and all these executive producers and all this old type of shit. You want to come out and you want to come chill and kick it for a couple of hours? Come through and come do that, you know? I am going to post more about it. I post a little bit on my Facebook and on my Twitter and Tumblr and all that shit yesterday. So it's already out there and everything. I might have to find me something to wear, though. I think I'm going to go through Fashion Nova. I'm going to have to order my shit this week because if that is next week, I need to be, you know, ready. And I don't want to be all busting out cleavage out and all that old type of shit. Yeah, I want to give you body. You know what I mean? But I want this body covered up, though, too, though. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to be, you know, because, of course, my man, you know, he's going to be coming in and out. He's going to be there. You know what I mean? And it's his people and all that. I don't want to be all, you know what I'm saying, all over the top. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like that, but I want to be sexy and cute and all that other kind of stuff. Yeah. So if you guys want to come through, come check me out. Come holler at your girl, no problem. You know what I mean? It's going to be at a movie. Um, It's going to be at a theater in L.A. somewhere. You do have to pay to get in there, though. That ain't got nothing to do with me, okay? That don't, that, 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 I, I ain't getting the motherfucking thing. I, I, I'm simply there in support of what's going on. That's it. And that's, that's all I got to do with it. You know what I mean? I'm here in support, and these are my peoples, and, you know, and that's what's happening. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna come. Of course I was gonna be there. But, you know, if you guys want to come and want to see this film, it's a real good film, and come through and come check it out and come through. I'm going to be up there. I think it starts at 5 o'clock or something like that. Come through. Come holler at your motherfucking partner. You know what I mean? Come, Let's come through. Come take a couple motherfucking pictures and handshake and all that old type shit and clown up at the top. You know what I mean? Because I'll come up there and sit up with, with y'all motherfucking ass. Come up there clowning. No problem. Okay, is this what we doing over here? Yeah. Just don't be coming in there and bringing in burritos and motherfucking hamburgers and shit. And motherfucking bowls and Tupperware and motherfucking spaghetti and shit. Because you know black folks is good for that shit. Why do we come to the movies and bring all... Man, now see, I don't do that. Now, I don't do... Now, I did take my kids and we got a burrito and shit. I did do that shit. So, motherfuckers was smelling all kind of cilantro and cussing inside of shit. And I like, man... They said, uh-oh, somebody got a Connie inside a burrito in this motherfucker. Yeah, it was us. Yeah, we went and got burritos out the game and 
Went and got brisk teas, 99 cent motherfucking ones. Yeah, we did all that shit. We was in the movies cutting up, eating, and, and all kind of, can, 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 you got some hot sauce? Yeah, we did all that. But, you know, but now nah, I don't think it's, it's not really that type of party. You know what I mean? I don't think we want to do that. You know what I mean? Don't come in there. Well, Tina said I'm coming with the potato salad. Don't do me like that. You know what I mean? Don't do me like that. You know what I mean? I don't need these motherfuckers like, man, yo. Tina told them to come in here with some rib tips and shit. Yeah, don't do not do me like that. You know what I mean? But if you want to come through, come check me out. Come holla at me. You know what I mean? See how tall I really am in person and shit like that. Come through, come check me out. I think I think I think to get into the theater is like ten dollars or something like that. I think that's all it really costs. But if you know if that's within your budget and you ain't got nothing to do, it's gonna be on a Sunday. I think it started at five o'clock. You got a couple hours to just chill and kick it. You up the street or whatever. Let me go on down and go holler at Miss Tina. Come on through and come check me out. That's all I'm saying. It's it's all love, baby. It's all love. You know what I mean? Um, so what else is going on? Okay, the party. Y'all, the party was cool. The party was cool as a motherfucker. Kenny didn't show up, you know, which I didn't call him. I, Kenny, are you coming to the party? For what? He got the invite. He already knew what it was. He didn't show up, you know, in which, you know, he was probably in his feelings. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't work the weekends. But, yeah, he was probably in his feelings. And he didn't want to see me, you know, whatever, whatever. Whatever it was. You know what I mean? That's what we discussed. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it is what it was. You didn't have to come. It was no problem. It, it still went off with a hitch. Barbecue was bomb. You know what I mean? We still kicked it. And everybody laughed and music and danced and all that kind of stuff. It was cool. I had my little whoop whop on. You know what I'm saying? And of course, you know, it was chicks at the party like, who she thinks she is. I'm trying to eye contact that bitch so I can clown and be like, bitch, what you looking at? No, I don't do that with the ratchets. I'm sorry.